Hi, I'm Keely, also known as Kelly. And I'm Feely, also known as Alex. Welcome to our corner of the Shire, where we will show you how to bring Middle Earth into your daily life to keep you a, a happy, happy hobbit. hobbit. Welcome to our third annual Happy Hobbit Halloween special. Today, we're going to show you a few things. Um, actually, I forgot to tell you, I have plans. We're filming our Halloween episode. Well, I'm going out later, and so I have to, like, get ready and everything, so... Okay. If you want to do it, that's fine, because you're a really good host. Well, thanks, but... Okay, well... I suppose I am going to be showing you a few ways to make your Halloween that much more hobbity with trick-or-treating specialties and things like that. So, you know, we're going to start there. Trick-or-treating. If you're sick and tired of treating trick-or-treaters the same way you do every single year, why not spice it up a little and, you know, take turns being different Middle-earth characters when you answer the door? Starting with Gandalf. But if you're not feeling like a kindly old magical wizard, then just pretend you're Bilbo and that the trick-or-treaters are Sackville Bagginses, and you just don't want to deal with that. Or just treat your trick-or-treaters like Bayorn would. So if you live far enough into the mountains or something where trick-or-treaters just don't even bother to come to your house, what you can do is pretend that you have them, you know, so you at least have something for your uh, Halloween, um, like what we did last year with our dogs. Any trick-or-treaters? And let me see this young man come here, sir. All right, I'm going to the next house. You go get it. Come trick or treat. <gasps> Good okay, goodness. Look at these costumes. Did you make them yourselves? Yeah, oh, why come get your trick or treats? Oh, are there some trick or treaters? Oh, he sits very nice and one for you. Can you sit? Yeah. Oh, I love to make my trick or treaters sit. Yes. A really easy thing you can do for Halloween to make it more hobbity is to dress up like a Middle Earth character. And dressing up like a hobbit is a lot easier than you may think. Um, honestly, all you really need is an old vest, put it over a white shirt, roll up your pants to be like mid-calf, draw some hair on your feet with felt pens or face paint, um, get an old gold ring, put it around a chain, or if you have the one ring, which I'm sure a lot of you do, you can wear that, even if you're not Bilbo himself, still just have it. And being an elf is a lot easier than you think too, because you can just throw on a dress or a tunic or something and then just get band-aids and fold them and put them on the tip of your ear so that and fold them so that they're kind of like a triangular tip like Keely did as Legolas in our Lord of the Freaks movies and it looks pretty good, you know? It's awesome. And instead of bobbing for apples because that's kind of boring and unoriginal, bob for bards and pretend you're Smaug. <laughs> for smog! We get hotter than it looks! God darn you human man! Hello? Here, Tila! 
just go to sleep and like, get her, Taylor! Get your sister! <laughs> oh my gosh! It's a lot harder than it looks! You bob for bards! Like smoke! There's his arm! Take this, Bart the Bowman! Happy Hobbit fact number 533. That's actually Aragorn. <laughs> We're on a budget, people. When you're doing bobbing for Bard, remember to change the water after every time someone does a bob because that way you spread less dragon germs and, you know, keeps the water cleaner because Smaug probably doesn't brush his teeth very often. There's like dwarves and stuff in there. And so the last thing I'm going to show you is on Lord of the Rings Online. And at every holiday they have a different festival. Um, and at Halloween time they have something called Harvest Math. And it's very, very cool. And, um... It's free to play, so I'll show you. Haunted Burrow. <laughs> and who is that I see? scary hobbit hole. And when you go in, don't forget your secret oh! Your secret special gift every day in here. Except Keely dug it! Except we all get one. So that's just a handful of things that Lotro can offer. I mean, it's so cool, and especially times like this when there's festivals, and it's totally free. So like, there's nothing stopping you from doing it except having a computer. What the heck is Keely doing? Have to go find out. Keely. Keely, you seriously think I'm gonna get scared by you running around trying to scare me this whole time while I've been filming? What are you talking about? Um, just now, all the time, when I've been filming. I haven't been anywhere other than right here, you know why? Because Harry set up a blind date for me, and I have no idea what to wear, and so I was looking through my closet, trying to find anything, and instead I just decided to wear what I had on. So I'm just gonna go like this. Okay, lie about it then, and have fun on your stupid date. Harry, happy. Why do you always get so jealous whenever Harry and I talk? I, it's not exactly someone to take advice from. Can we just go and film the end of this episode now, please, instead of running around scaring me? Um, yeah. <laughs> so busy getting ready for Harry. Oh my gosh, someone's jealous. <laughs> Whatever. So those are just some ideas that you can do to make your Halloween more hobbity, more Middle Earthy, and you know, hopefully some of them will come in useful, and we'll maybe see you on Elatro at the Haunted Burrow. <gasps> so. Whatever happened to you and the other Keely? If you're going on a date? Okay, so you turned to blind dates instead of a dwarf. Oh, that's him. No, 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 I no, 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 no. If this is something Harry set up, let me go check this dude out 
Make sure he's not some weirdo. Oh my gosh, don't embarrass me! I don't ever embarrass you. Take my pumpkin. I can't believe Keely would listen to Harry and go on a blind date. <sighs> okay. Let's see who it is. Lord Voldemort! Hello. What? I'm here for my date with Keely. You see, I'm into cross fandom genres. I thought perhaps it was time that we. Keely doesn't live here anymore. I guess it really is Halloween. was a man of many things. He went on dates with dwarves. And perhaps was he actually <laughs> a dwarf himself? We will never know. It's not like he's wearing Keely's clothes. <laughs> Goodbye. Do you have any last words, Voldemort? Sandwiches. Is, is that all? They would last you dip. <laughs> hey! I think like you're a middle earther, dog. It's way out of the shot. You need it shoulder level. Can't go south of Aragorn. South of Aragorn, coming in theaters this fall. What are you saying? Nothing, go. You'll find out when you watch when you watch the footage. You you need to make it clear that you're doing magic. Don't just go like this and go ha ha ha. You need to go mmm <laughs> like you're doing something. Chloe, polish a pumpkin. I'm sure he polishes pumpkins. <laughs> oh, does that sound too risque? <laughs> what? I'm on a roll here. What was your first? It was out there. I was like south of Aragorn. Coming to theaters this fall. Hopefully he was in the shop. <laughs> that was seriously really hard, Taylor. Taylor, did you come to help your sister? Taylor, come look. Let's play in the watchers. Come drink it. Taylor, look. Taylor, look. Where did that dirt come from, the figure? Taylor, look. You get it. Special water. And we're not gonna waste this water, people. There's a lot of dead lawn yeah, around. Yeah, do you see this dead lawn? <laughs> I'll embarrass her. This is Feely's jack-o'-lantern. Accident! So then, it was really hard to cut out the negative image from a stencil, okay? I just said. So, uh, so you knock on the... I Are you ever gonna look up and see it's Voldemort? You're gonna eat your old pumpkin. You're supposed to cue me. <laughs> Just take a bite and look up. Okay. Who wants some trick or treat? That made me sick. Eating your pumpkin? Eating I eat part raw, of eating raw squash. I eat part of my pumpkin. Did you eat as much as I did? I ate several mouthfuls. <laughs> that could be why I threw up. Cause I just started eating this. Eat him. I was eating him as I carved him. It's a squash. Okay. 